Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Great name is Ali Shamma here and welcome to my build table once again. What you're watching right there is the War Crocodile. I'm calling it the War Croc X470 RC helicopter fuselage for flying GPS RC helicopters and a new kit is sitting right here. Now this project is inspired by the legendary MI24 HIN that is actually in service as of today still and that has been a big inspiration for me because it's one of my most favorite gunship helicopters since my childhood. So welcome to this project. First off, I would like to say big thanks to all of your interest on my post last night that I posted on GPS RC Helicopters group and your support for this project. Now, in this video, I'm gonna do my best to give you as much information as possible about the fixed landing gear version of Warcroc X470 and the kit version sitting here, which is the retracting landing gear, retractable landing gear version. So you will have a very clear idea which one do you actually want. All right, here it is, the Warcroc X470. I have designed it in two different versions. One is the fixed landing gear version, which is sitting right there in a complete assembled form. I did it because I wanted to show you what the final product looks like. And mashallah, I can say, man, this did not disappoint. The design actually came out really well and this is absolutely a gorgeous helicopter right there now the second version sitting right there as a kit form is a retractable landing gear version where the landing gear will actually retract inside the body and that will be absolutely much more realistic as the real life helicopter uh, has the retractable landing gear i did not now i did not assemble this one the kit version so that number one you can see what the kit will look like and what you will receive when you order this kit and number two i will make a complete how to assemble this kit video so you will have no trouble at all assembling your favorite and your new beast uh the warcroc x470 and also you will learn how to install the retractable landing gear and how to make them work now this fuselage is basically designed to take flywing fw450l v3 mechanics which is sitting right there and it's big and it takes a lot of space inside the fuselage but still you have plenty of space to install servos for your retractable landing gear, which was, which was actually a big challenge for me. Because this really takes up a lot of space and there is no way I can actually retract the landing gear inside as the actual mechanism of the real helicopter is. So I had to completely redesign everything to best fit the RC version. Now it will also take, which is work in progress and inshallah will be done soon, it will also take the Huey UH-1 mechanics and you can change the main rotor head to four blade rotor head version and you can also put this uh, mechanics in this helicopter so the pilots who own Huey UH-1 so the pilots who own uh, flying Huey UH-1, B0105, Bell 206 and FW450 V3 right here they can all convert their helicopters into this beast nobody wants to mess with especially the pigeons will simply pack their stuff and migrate from your area so <laughs> okay let's talk about the kit version first so i can remove these parts from here and we can focus on the assembled version now i would like to explain that this design has gone through a lot of changes and it has been over a month eight hours a day daily work and I have put a lot and lot of work in this and based on my experience based off my experience of previous helicopters that I have already offered uh, for sale uh, the Cobb H1 and the Falcon Cobra inspired helicopters check this out this camo is for a client ready to fly I'm doing it custom work for them so yes based on my previous design experience I have put much more consideration in this design. Number one, it is less parts compared to the other and less goodies as well because most of the goodies have been already built on the fuselage and when you print, they will print 
with the fuselage you don't have to glue them okay we'll take a look at them in this video so number one less parts very easy assembly number two more scale details goodies are also much more scaled there are some of my own touches on the design in order to ensure that these mechanics fit properly inside so it's not exactly a hundred percent replica it's a design inspired by the legendary mi24 one more thing that you are going to appreciate is that when shipping a fuselage this big right here i need to pack it in a big box and every centimeter counts as kilograms adding to the kilograms the weight on the package and each added weight means customers have to pay more money so what i did is this time you can basically split the helicopter the whole tail boom you can take apart so you will have the front part the rear part and you can remove your big weapon wings as well and this means i can pack it in a smaller box significantly reducing the money money for the shipping and once you receive it you can either add the tail with four screws and keep it like that or you can just glue it and make it permanent it's all up to you now removable tail also means the installation of fuselage is easier and obviously you will have to install the retracts so you have to run the cables around it makes it easier to run the cables around and set everything up and then once everything is done you can add the tail using the four screws only you understood the concept now here is the kit let's talk about that so we have the first part which is a lower fuselage a midsection then we have an upper fuselage which goes on top of it okay and then we have the hatch and the nose section all right and hatch will actually lock on the front and on the back it will lock using these clamps very easy and very easy to remove and very secure and quick attach and detach of the hatch very easy i will show it to you and after that obviously you will glue the tail on on the boom right here and this boom has four screws and it will join on with the front section making it super super easy to install everything and of course for transportation and shipment it makes a smaller size as i mentioned to reduce the shipping cost then we have the front apu cover basically so the apu is right here and there will be a little apu a turbo fan right there then we have exhaust so i i did my best to give you as much details as possible for the kit and um, these are the pieces that we will use to install the mechanics but for that mechanic i am working on a complete plate which will fix it right there coming very very soon now as you can see a lot of details that i have done on this uh, took me a lot of lot of time so these are the rear wheels these are the rear rims this is the front wheel even the front wheel has its own details on it the rim was too small to do any kind of details the lights are like this so you basically have a light here you can basically cut this off and put an led inside which i'm planning to do then we have the retractable landing gear version here tail horizontal stabilizer nose dual gatling guns man this thing is gonna be crazy that's why i told you the pigeons will actually pack their stuff and migrate from your area and then instead of two hellfire i have generously provided you uh, four on each wing so you have eight to fry your enemies all right and then obviously the rocket pods are right there and then uh, handles and other goodies which are easily stickable on the nose right here as you can see in retractable landing gear version you have a servo for the front landing gear and for the rear landing gear you will have two servos right here now all together three servos you will have to run a nicely done cable and make sure to power three additional servos from a separate u-back and run a single cable to the signal cable on channel six and this way you will ensure that your receiver will not freeze when you you know retract when you actually flip the switch to bring the retracts out or in so i will do that obviously in the build video and show you how i'm doing so you will have an idea 
So yes, there are a lot of lot of details and Alhamdulillah it turned out very good and with this gunmetal color inshallah it will look very very nice. I'm gonna build it so in the next video I'm gonna show you the complete assembly. All right, so first off the size, if you wanted to compare the size, I am going to put a falcon side by side, okay? And you can see that MI24 is slightly big. So if we talk about Falcon X450, this is a 450 size helicopter. This is slightly longer. So this is a 470 size helicopter. Well, some people will still call it a 500 size helicopter due to its size. Now, now having to have this long tail right here means we will have to modify our tail rotor cable to be longer. Now this is the tail rotor from the Huey UH1 V4 and I can see after it goes inside this reaches right here to the mechanics and even to the ESC just fine. Maybe I have to do a tad uh, of lengthening but this one will reach properly. However, however, if you have your uh, FW450 V3 mechanics and this is right here, you can see that this cable will run short. First of all, let me show you how to open the hatch uh, on the front and put in the batteries and how you will put in the batteries because I need two hands for that. Then I'll bring the camera closer later. So you just pull it here and it comes out. Now there is a tongue right here which actually locks the uh, hatch right there. And then to install it, you just push the locks in and push it down and the clamps actually hold it. And you can see that it's not gonna come off during the flight, it's properly locked. So if you did the job right of installation of the clamps, it will lock really nicely and it won't open. So this is very, very easy to open the hatch, you know, remove it and you can see there's a plenty of space. The battery and the FW450 V3 can go through right here. And if you're configuring it with the um, uh, UVUS1 Bell 206 other mechanics, you can even add a 5000 million battery all the way here. I mean a longer battery or you can put the battery here to balance the CG, which I will see balancing the CG should be an easy job. All right, so after that, the installation of mechanics should be very easy. There are four screws right here, one, two, three, four, and then you can remove the APU cover very, very easily. As you can see, it's a separate cover right here in my hand. You can remove the APU cover. And once you remove the APU cover, and you have installed these two supports on the mechanics. All you have to do is put the mechanics in, align these pieces to the, uh, the providing the spaces right there, slide it back. After that, after that, yes, you will question that what if the uh, mechanics will slide out or not? Well, it, they will not because you have, you have to, you know secure your top of the mechanics here so it doesn't vibrate inside that's very very important because that is the thing that actually causes the crash so here I have two holes uh, which are uh, very very nicely matched to the fw450 v3 uh, mechanics and you will put two screws right here if it effectively securing the mechanics inside so they will not go up down left right forward backward they will not slip Apart from that, when there's no APU cover, obviously for those are still much more concerned, there are two holes down there. You can easily add uh, self-tapping screws. And uh, you can see right there, there are two holes there. So you can easily add the self-tapping screws and secure the mechanics in and they will not slide forward and backward. I would say just after adding these two screws, the mechanics are not gonna slide anywhere. Similarly, there are two screws on each weapon wing, so you can use self-tapping screws to install the weapon wings. No issues there, no need to glue them, all right? And as I mentioned, there are four screws, one, two, three, four, okay? Fourth one is down there, obviously. Fourth one is down here. So you can easily add the tail boom on this fuselage easily. And then motor installs here, cable goes all the way in here, and you can cover this gap in order to keep the cables concealed. So all the goodies and details, the APU exhaust, turbine exhaust, everything has been built right. And 
and then we have the APU fan. I still have to color it. Then I have opened the vents right here in between the turbine inlets. Uh, they also like look like eyes of a crocodile. Look at that. <laughs> what a cute crocodile. It's gonna bite really hard with these two Gatling on the nose and all those ordnance on the weapon wings. But it does look like a cute, uh, two cute eyes of a crocodile and that's why i am thinking if i can paint you know crocodile jaw with large teeth right there these can turn into eyes and it will look very very beautiful so there are a lot of goodies and details already built already printed on this fuselage also you have the windows open so there will be plenty of airflow with the turbine exhaust there will be plenty of airflow on the ESC and the uh, mechanics of the helicopter that you're gonna use. So this was the first version after I finished the designing, I printed it. And after printing this one, there have been some changes which are reflected in the retractable landing gear version. And obviously, of course, in the fixed landing gear version, also you will get those changes. Uh, now for the fixed landing gear, you have one plate right here which you can fix with either two screws or four screws. After that, the landing gear is designed in a way that you can add a stronger rubber band and it will also act as a shock absorbing landing gear because it can move uh, backward and it will perform the shock absorbing. The rear landing gear, these bays on the fixed landing gear version are open, okay? And you just basically print these landing gears and insert them in so you can remove them easily. And obviously, as you can see, there's a pivot right here. For now, I have added the zip tie, which actually effectively works as a shock absorber. But as I mentioned, you can also add the rubber band on this area where you're seeing the zip tie and you will have shock absorbing landing gear on this helicopter. Now, if you talk about the retractable landing gear, they have the same pivot for the shock absorbing, but they will retract inside the body. As you have seen that the tail of the retractable landing gear version has these openings for the gears to go in, okay? And, uh, oh, this one has a lot of things. This one has a lot of things inside. Let me just pour them out. And you can see the base fuselage also has cuts for the retracts to go in. People, thank you very much for watching this video. The introduction of Warcroc X470, this legendary MI-24 inspired gunship RC helicopter. These are two versions coming your way very, very soon. Stay tuned for those. I hope that was enough information. Still, if you need more information, feel free to comment and feel free to let me know what else would you like to want to know more about these helicopters. Now, regarding the price and regarding the um, release date, obviously everything is in the video description. Go ahead, check it out. Crash rebuild, bounce back, that's what I do. Crash rebuild, bounce back quickly in the dirty south, ain't no